Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you step by step how to paint this landscape. I've got Valentine's on my mind. It's just around the corner so I thought this would be really fun to do a Valentine's painting together. And yeah, I've got a soft rainbow in the background. I'm going to show you step by step how to build this up um, using a few different colors and brushes. I'll list everything below in the description of this video. Hope you're excited to learn how to paint this today and I can't wait to show you how to do it. So let's begin. going to be starting off with bright aqua green and we've also got some light permanent blue so we're just going to use these colors along with some titanium white and work on the background first and that'll be our first step using a large blending brush and you can use any brush of your choice for this and I'm just using a large round chalk brush this is a three inch just for my blending brush I'm going to take a little bit of white first and then just kind of pull in and pick up a little bit of each color, the turquoise and the blue. And I'm just gonna start blending that around, letting all those pretty streaks and different shades happen on their own. And then I'm just gonna leave them like that because I think it looks really pretty. And then I'm gonna go just down below here. I'll pick up a little bit more paint little bit of each color here and just in here just pulling a few little lines make it look like there's some ripples in the water now of course you can use a different brush for this you can use a flat brush or something that's a little bit smaller and narrower but if you hold the brush just kind of on its side like this you can make some thinner looking lines So I'm just going to come around the edges here and make this a little bit darker. darker on either side. Okay, so I'm going to wash this brush off now and then dry this off and we'll move on to our next step. Okay guys, so for the next step, I thought it would be kind of nice to have a really faint light uh, hint of a rainbow back there. Uh, behind the couple in silhouette that we're going to add pretty soon and then eventually come around with a heart-shaped type of cave just to kind of frame it all together. So we're going to be using some neon colors today and if you don't have neon colors just use regular colors that you would for a rainbow and just tint your white with each one of them. That will make it nice and soft and give it that bit of a glow. Once it dries it'll look really nice and pretty. Okay guys, so here are the colors that we're gonna be using for a rainbow. We've got neon red, neon yellow cool, cerulean blue, and neon uh, rose. Um, I don't have orange or green in here because the red and yellow will make um, that layer of orange we need. And then of course, yellow and blue make green. And these two colors here will make a nice purple color. So let's begin. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take a uh, number eight uh, flat brush here. Begin with a little bit of white and water on my brush. Over to the side. And I'm just gonna, so this is gonna be in the background. We wanna just do sort of a soft white base first. And I'm just adding a little bit of water in here along with my white just to make it easier to blend out and look really soft. So of course it doesn't matter about below the end of the rainbow, either end of the rainbow, because it's gonna be covered up with what we're putting in front and that couple will be down here. 
So part, keep in mind, part of your rainbow might get covered up. Okay, just make sure I have a nice base here that's going to be wide enough. Okay, so I'm going to start with my first color and it's going to be the red. So I'm going to take my white with my red, make a really pretty soft color here. I might need a little bit of water to help blend it out. We'll see. And I'm just going to start pulling and then letting off. We take a little bit more. So it all depends on how much of how bright you want your and colorful you want your rainbow to be. I think in this case, like I just want mine to look very soft and faded. I'm just going over with a little bit more white. I just want to make sure that when it dries, it's not going to look really dark. Okay, now I'm going to come in with my yellow and I made my red quite wide purposely in order to create that layer of orange by taking my yellow. I'll of course, I'm going to take a bit of white. I'm going to add white with everything. A little bit more white. Because remember, we have a green base underneath and blue, so we might lose our yellow if we don't add enough white to it. But we want to make orange right now. So I'm going to just come in lightly here. Okay, just like that. And then come over part of that yellow that we added with some more yellow and white. So we'll have a layer of this peachy color or orange and a little bit of yellow. And I'll take some more of my white bit of yellow here. Do that again. Now if you wanted, you could kind of have a reflection of those colors in the water. Let's go ahead and do that right now. I think that would look quite pretty. So we've got a bit of yellow there. Let's take some of our red. Pull and sweep, guys. Soft little pulls. And take a little bit of each yellow and red. And we can change it at any time. I'm going over if we want. I'll take a little bit more of my yellow. Now, if you want your orange to show up a little bit more, what we could do is just take a little bit of full strength, a little bit, not too, too much, full strength yellow, and lightly pull over like that. And that'll give us a little bit more of that orange if we want it. Okay, so already we have this nice green happening from our yellow. I'm gonna take a little bit more yellow Tapping into a tiny bit of white this time to create my bright, bright green color that I want. Okay, just like that. Okay, and then I'm going to come in with my blue now. You can use phthalo blue as well if you want. Uh, I just wanted to change up my blues because I've got um, some of that permanent light blue turquoise and I use the old blue all the time. I haven't used cerulean blue in a while, so I kind of wanted to today. I'm going to lighten this because I want it to be nice and soft like everything else. Just 
still need a little bit more white in there, I think. Okay, and then I'm gonna go line my brush up just where that green, greeny yellow color ends off. So I'm just slightly overlapping the color previously. I'm gonna make this a little bit wide, right? Cause I'm gonna be adding my rose over top of part of it to make another very pretty purpley color. So I think I'm ready now for my light rose violet color. Isn't that pretty? I'm gonna take a little bit of my blue with it. Definitely more white. Okay, so I'm gonna come right in here. And just a light little overlap like that. And I'm gonna take just a little bit more of my violet this time. Make some of it maybe look a little, a little bit darker. And then a little bit of white. Right over it to make it a little bit softer again. Can take a few times to get it just right. Let's start adding all these rainbow colors in the water now. So we'll, we can take a little bit of our violet here and maybe put it somewhere in here. A little bit more white to create some softer tones. And now we'll go into our blue. So there's a little bit of white, that blue. And go ahead and add some white in here. A little bit more a little bit more blue right here. I've got a little bit of blue and violet on my brush. Go back into my yellow and just make sure I've got some green in here. I just want to soften this a little bit around the edge here. Okay, so I think I'm ready to start painting the couple. I'm just going to dry this off really quickly with my hair dryer. And actually right down in here, kind of missed this area. So I'm just gonna scoop up a little bit of my turquoise and blue and just make sure I have this covered. Just in case my heart-shaped cave doesn't come down well enough. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do sort of in the foreground area right here. here just to soften. Uh, one more color I want to add. I want to go back to my neon red here in white. A little bit more of the white. And I'll just come right in here. There, now I know that side's gonna be covered up, so I don't need to worry too much about that, but I felt like we needed just a little bit more in here. So what I'm gonna to use to paint the silhouette figures with is 
or are my blue, my luminous rose, a little bit of red, and some black. So I just want to tint, tint my black so it's not too, too black. <laughs> I like to change my black up and add some colors to it. It just makes it more interesting. Okay, so we'll paint the figures first, guys, and then we're going to come around with that heart-shaped cave. Okay, so I've just gotten my brush a little bit wet, and I'm going to start off with mixing these two colors together here. Take a little bit of black. So I'm kind of making a dark gray right now, and I'll decide if I want it to be darker than that after. Right now, I just want to focus on the placement and the figures themselves. So I think we'll start the figure right here. I'm going to do a little line right here. That's actually a really nice color. It's kind of a smoky plum color. I'm going to add some ripples here in the water. So I'm just pushing and letting off to make it wider and then get skinnier. A little bit of water to help that paint flow out smoothly in my brush. Okay, we'll leave it like that for now. And so let's go ahead and start this. We'll be doing to start with a little line like that so his neck and then his back I'll come in slightly like this and we'll paint it in I got a little bit more of that luminous rose that time And then just his neck right here, a little line like that, and then slope down for his arm and shoulder. And what I want to do with the clean brush is just bring this in a little bit, make it look like his back is going in and curving down here a little bit. Just soften. Okay, I know I need to come right in here. Come on a little too far there. Chunky hair there. I'm just going to come down here and create a V right about here. Back are coming up. Little bits of hair. And she's looking up at him. We'll just have
go back with a clean brush. In between here. Just bring back these pretty colors a little bit more. I'm just gonna add a little bit more hair here. Just using the tip here of my little round brush. And now I'm coming in, I think I finished with these two and I can come in with my heart shaped frame. I'm gonna go back to my large round brush. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little bit of black, some green on there, and I'm gonna start from the outside, just tapping. We want to do this gradually, right? We want to come around the, all the edges first, and then we can slowly start to make our shape. Okay, and just gradually work our way up. Make this a little bit darker on top. So we don't want to see any of the background through this. We want this to look solid, right? Because we are inside a cave looking out. And it doesn't have to be perfectly even, right? It is just a case, so it's going to have little imperfections. I'm going to use my little uh, oval mop brush, and I'm going to take those same colors, the black and the green, and I'm just going to get more of a texture now, have it look like Lines and stuff hanging, hanging down here, bringing this down into more of that dip for the heart shape. So I'm going to take some neon yellow now to highlight. Again, just using the oval mop brush. So kind of partway in the green and the yellow. And I'm going to start right down here. Tapping over. I'm going to an angle and then we'll kind of wrap it around so that a bit of a twisted look. I'm going to come over on this side. Well, so it's 
to you how much you want to add. I know this is going to dry a little bit darker, especially because I didn't add um, my coat of gesso. I'm going to use another mop brush here because that one's just a little bit too saturated and it's not applying the paint how I would like it to. Now you can pick up a little bit of white as well. And then I'll just soften your colors up a little bit more if you like. So I'm just going to go and kind of squish down flat, take a little bit of white. And then I'm just going to pick a few spots. So just on the side here, a few little spots where I'll have more of a highlight. So we change up the lighting a little bit. And maybe in here a bit. And maybe maybe just up here. And if there are any spots where you feel like you need to add a little bit more to cover up, maybe you feel like you made it too dark, then you can go ahead and just go over top with a little bit more light shadow wherever you need to. Okay, so now I'm going to just add a few little vines hanging down and I'm going to use um, oh, just a little filbert brush will work fine. I'm going to get it wet and I'll just kind of pull in to my black green, a little bit of yellow. Turn my brush like this. Tap lightly. You can just kind of tap and flick. I'm going to have a few little little bits of vines hanging. I always like the way that looks. So I just got a little bit there, a little bit here. And then just down at the bottom, I'm going to swipe and work out the rest of that paint. I'll add a few more highlights before I finish this up, just to make everything stand out a little bit better. And then coming along the top with a little bit more of my black on the sides. See, it's really easy and forgiving with acrylic paint to come in and add more wherever you need to. You can layer quite easily. Okay, so as I finish up this one, I just want to thank you guys so much for joining me today. Happy Valentine's and happy painting. I'll see you soon in another video, everybody. Bye for now. Thank you.